Oi, oi. Oh my God, man. Gotta come down, man. I gotta come down from this, man. All right, listen. I, um... I want to say thank you very much for stopping by here and taking the time to check out these videos. Um, glad to be back. It's been a little while, man. You know, all things have, uh, all kinds of things have happened. Some good, some bad. But the good thing is that my tooth still, still on tight. It hasn't flown away in the wind. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what to do with this tooth. Without the do, I should be doing. Anyway, glad to be back, man. You know, doing something uh, what I think a little special. It's a little special. Uh, I gotta come down because it was uh, the last, a lot of uh, action on uh, on those songs, and it's hot in here. It's still, I get some Indian summer happening or because it's really hot, and. Um, um, so I gotta come down a little bit, man. So, but um, I'm glad to be back, and thank you very much for coming by. Uh, we'll talk a lot. We'll talk a few. Uh, haven't we haven't been on for a while, so I'll I'll chat with y'all uh, a little more uh, time than usual. Hope you don't mind. If you got the time, you know. Pause it. Come back. You know. But um, yeah, man, doing something special here. We're doing some Aussie, you know, breaking out the roads. I'll uh, go with the song, you know, in rocket science, man, you know, the, the solo is a nice, nice, nice challenge. Um, uh, you know, these things, you, 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 um, I gotta make it fast because uh, the battery, I don't trust this battery, man, it's like the last one I have, and I want to get cut off, so, and I gotta check the camera, make sure this is uh, still, still rocking here, right? And we're recording here because, uh, otherwise... We should, we, you know, we just, nobody's recording, man, so, anyway, so, yeah, man, so that's the deal with the thing, man, uh, <clears throat> you know, Solo presents quite a challenge, of course, you know, so, so Randy was, uh, I'll give you, I'll give you my opinions about Randy Rose again, if you don't mind, little observations, so you could maybe pick something up, it's the old things as usual, you know what I mean, you know, but uh, welcome all y'all, all y'all, all y'all. I'm tongue tied. My brain is like, it's mush, man. Cause I was, it's a lot to think about when you're doing these these videos alive, man. You know, and uh, you know, and uh, I have to think about. It. I got my pedal board in front of me here. A lot of uh, connections and stuff like that. I'm running, I'm running through the Marshall, man. This is the real setup here. There's no plugins. There's no plugins involved in here right now. You know, no, no, no. Um, the, only, the only thing I have is a uh, uh, cabinet uh, IR, an impulse response. You know, uh, the cap, a fake cabinet, so to speak. And that, that's uh, I'm, uh, the same one. You know, <laughs> it's funny. I, 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 uh, I can't seem to to find a better cabinet than that one, man. I, I tried a lot of cabinets in uh, the early this 1960s. Rosen Digital or something, uh, but I always go back to this one. It's not just like a real cabinet. But we're running through the real setup here, man. Delays and new flangers or whatever are not phony, are not plugins. They are the real deal here. The physical, I'll show you, I'll show you by my pedal board. Hey, you know, it's just a plank wood, piece of, a piece of wood with the, all my stuff on it, you know. And but we're gonna we're gonna feature something very special. That's what I got. I gotta I gotta move on because I don't want to run out of battery. Uh, we're featuring a very special pedal today, and uh, I'll show it to you. And I'll show you the history of this. This pedal here. Featuring today, we're featuring the the Boss Super Phaser. I think I think this pedal is older than. A lot of you. I think this is the second pedal I ever bought in my life, man. I bought this pedal in 1982-83, I think. It was, I bought my first rat ever. You know, I'm a rat, Procore rat. The uh, loyal, diehard, you know, I, that's all I use. It's a rat, and that's my sound, you know what I mean? 1980s rat, rats, 
I'm not going to say which ones. But um, I think this is the second. This is, I put this pedal immediately after that. And uh, Paul Superfacer. I don't know if they still have them out there. I'm told they probably have better ones or something like this. I don't know. But I, uh, being that it's Sato and it has a lot of phasing, I said, let me paint this out. I, hope I, I, I think I used it in the take. I hope I used it. Because, you know, especially uh, using it on the, on the chorus, you know, 3,000 cells are straining. You trust, how was it going? 3,000 cells on higher straining in the wind. You know, so I wanted to step on it. And I tried. I tried, but you know, so, so many, like, I'm singing and I'm playing and I got to step on it. The, the split second that you look at the pedal to step on it, you, you just go off time, you know, so. It's very hard, man. Very hard. You know, I could program, uh, you know, put a plug-in on top of the, a facer plug-in, but I wanted to use the real, the real deal Holyfield here, man. You know what I mean? So I'll show it to you what it sounds like later. And, uh, yeah, man. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh... So that's that, right? So you know, we're running the real deal Marshall, my Marshall JCM 900. Uh, I think it's a very good sound. This is my real sound. I find I found out that I'm using mic, I'm using an old microverb, microverb for reverb from the from the 80s, 89. I, I like it. I got another reverb, but uh, I stick to this. And um, my, my reverb. But you know what's funny? It was like that. It had a chorus on it. I, do, I did a lot of videos with this chorus on it, man. I didn't, I didn't need a chorus, I just want the reverb. And I had a chorus all along. So I took that, it was affecting, you know, I don't know how the dial, a chorus was dialed in the microverb, but I took that off, so I think I probably have more of a raw sound today. But I did a few, a lot of videos with this chorus on, man, what the hell? You know, you know they got some configurations in there. Anyway, I hope you could follow. A lot of guitar talk, man, for your guitar enthusiasts. But, okay, so... Let me check and we'll talk about roads, man. We'll talk about roads, you know. Roads. The roads. Randy Rhodes. Randy Rhodes. My opinion's on Randy Rhodes. Randy Rhodes. As you know, I saw Randy Rhodes. Only time I saw I was 14 years old. It was a magical night. I consider it the night that changed my entire life. Made me want to become a musician. Um Randy Rhodes. You get the whole shot here. I'm going to be cut off. Anyway, Palladium, New York City, 1981. Uh, my, my friends, uh, we all decided to go to see Ozzy. You know, and uh, it was a magical night. We were just uh, off, 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 off um, of nothing to do, so we went. We went, you know. And, uh, we, we didn't know it was going to become history, and you know, that's. <laughs> Uh, rock history, but uh, that that night we just left, and uh, I remember a very beautiful night because uh, it was Mortarhead and 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 uh, Road and uh, and uh, Blizzard of Oz, right? And um, I was a kid, I was 13, 14 years old, something then. And uh, my father was listening to some music at home after work, and he had a friend over, and uh, I remember I'm walking out of the I'm walking out of the house. Okay, Okay, Dad, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be back later, you know, later on. And so his friend, he says, hold on, you know, his friend. He says, come, come back here in Spanish. This is in Spanish. And I, and he, and I went back, and he, he pulled out and gave me a few bucks. That was such a nice thing, man, you know. His friend gave me, a, my father's friend gave me a few bucks for the, for, yeah, here's so a couple of bucks for, have a good time, be safe, you know. And you know what we do with it? We all bought pot. Hey, it was my idea, man. I guess I was peer pressure, you know, I was 14 years old, man. All my friends started buying weed because I think that was the thing to do back in those days, man. Everybody, you know, Black Sabbath concerts or everybody was smoking pot in those days, man. And so I was pretty, 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 pretty stoned when I was, when, when Mortarhead came out and, uh, and wrote and Blizzard of Oz. But, um, what happened is that uh, it was good, it was great. Anyway, I don't know if that helped or not, but uh, I don't think it would have mattered anyway, <laughs> what had I not been smoking pot. But 
it was I was blown away by Mortarhead anyway. Mortarhead really fucking floored me, man. I didn't know what this it was like a band of cowboys coming out of this. It was just fucking hammer, hammer up one after the other. Every fucking song was like great. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Never seen anything like that. I was, I was like around, you know, 13, 14, so I was like into Sticks, Journey, Kiss, um, maybe Van Halen, I don't know Van Halen, but all the 70s bands, Journey, Sticks, uh, Mario Speedwagon, Billy Joel, uh, Meatloaf, all that stuff, you know. And uh, but more the head, it was like, wow, man. And then, then Blizzard of Oz came out and the solo, the, the sound, the guitar sound, man, it was, it was intense, man. You know, everything was good. And uh, Rose, Floyd was just, you know. So my opinion is on, on Rose, why is Rose so good, man, you know? I think Rose was just a little guy. He was a little skinny guy, man. He's, he's, I don't know where he had guts. Where were he all his guts in, man? Did he have guts? Probably like, I don't know. But he was a skinny, little, small, small guy. So I, I, I'm always, I always think that being a small guy with, with a big classical, because I, I read that he uh, liked, liked the big necks. I mean, he, he made the road, the road guitars. <clears throat> you wanted a fat, you know, uh, some custom road guitars he had made or something. He, uh, he made sure that the necks were bigger. And I understand that because that's, one, that's what you have when you have a Spanish guitar or a... Um, uh, classical guitar, you have a, a bigger neck, so you could, you know, it's, 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 you could, it's, you know, it's just more comfortable to play that style. Uh, so I, I don't know. I think I think because if you notice, he's so exact, man. Every lick is exact. There's no. It's, it's like called. It's, it's a muted. It's a muted. It's a muted attack. That's what. That's the way I, I describe. I'll show it to you. Uh, Randy Rose is a muted attack on lead guitar, man, and um, chuck, 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 everything's like that, mostly, you know what I mean? He lets go the, the, the legato here and there, pull-offs, but a lot of it is, is chop, 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 you know what I mean? And his little, pardon me, but his little hands would accommodate, you know, a better sounding chop attack, you know what I mean, if you go follow, like, like if you have, like I have average hands, I guess, and if people have big hands, you know, we, we, we're probably going to like pull off and flurry, I mean, you have to really, he, 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 his hands were like, probably maybe smaller or something, so, so I, so I think that he fretted better, he fretted better because his hands were like smaller, he had to like fret exact. That's why his all his leads are exact, man. Every note is exact, and of course, on top of that, you know he had good studio techniques of, re, of lead guitar, uh, recording lead guitar. He, he would double track it, and, and uh, you know he make sure that the solos were like tight. You know what I mean? So, so all that in, together made a, a very clean attack on on lead guitar. You know that's my opinion. You know, I. And uh, a lot of the guitar players I see, it's just uh, very, uh, we go right over it. I think we should pay more attention on, on attack, you know, attack and sounding. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And so that's my opinion on Rose, man, you know. Um, everything, the whole package, man. So Randy Rose, man, you know what I mean? I, 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 after that, was it after that? Night was just, I just became a Rose. Uh, Randy Rose uh, fanatic, you know, Ozzy Osbourne fanatic, man, you know, and uh, uh, I remember sitting on, uh, on on the avenue, on the street in the avenue here, and uh, with a little uh, radio, and uh, and on a Saturday night, a Friday, Saturday night, Sunday night or something, uh, uh, Kim Biscuit Flower was on, this, uh, this Kim, B Kim Biscuit Flower, our radio program, and uh, one time they had Ozzy Osbourne, and I have, and I taped, and I just pushed the button, and I taped. I still got the tape, believe it or not. And it was, uh, it, it's, probably, it's probably on YouTube too. Now I've seen it, and uh, from the from 1981, 82, and uh, it floored floored me again. You know all those uh, harmonics and the, every all those tricks, man, that he used to do. 
And um, about a monster sound, a monster sound. You gotta have a monster sound, man. That's incredible. That was a monster sound. There, there are, there are, there are musicians who I think have these monster sounds, man. And that's it. You got Brian May, monster fucking sound, man. Tony Iommi, Black Sabbath, it's a monster sound. Randy Rhodes had a monster sound. Very big, man. You know. You know, you can't have an average gaming sound. You have to have the monster fucking sound. Have something very unique. Time back, you know. So, let's just do something here, man. Let's connect this thing here. You got the roads here again. So, you know, go over to, um, let me see if this is still recording because otherwise we're wasting our time. Let's make it fast because this thing here, try to be back, man, you know. Living, man, living. How y'all doing, man? Hope you guys are all right. You know, hope you guys are okay, man. Life is hard, man. You know, Brooklyn. Brooklyn's not easy to live in, man. You know, a lot of big holes and a lot of, you know, hardships, man. So you have to be, you know, you have to be on the ball, man. Let me see if I can um, turn this on. I'll show you. Where are we at now? Um... Am I on here? sound there man that's my sound uh, I'm, I'm concerned about this camera man I don't want it to uh, stop so let's let's go over this song real quick man <laughs> Kind of a thing. Anyway, that's it. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. That's uh, my sound there, right, y'all. Oh, okay. 
Right? So that's that's the beginning of that Sato, man. You can put that face around. I can't conceal my life like I knew I did before. Got to tell you now, ship is ready, waiting on the shore. I uh, I never really used the Van Halen faces. I got like two of them, but um, I like this one. <laughs> solo man hey arena solo arena fucking solo <laughs> To the um, right, that's pretty much all about the, the okay. So it comes to the bridge, right? The deal is right. Well, I want to be fancy, so I went. Hey, it's an old song, man. Let me change a few things. All right. So that's that, right? Then the solo. Pull 
pull-ups, right? Pull-ups in here. Then right here, fucking attack on a, on a, on a beauty. I like to mute all this. That's what I got. That's what I got from uh. That's what I got from Rhodes, man. That's what I got from Rhodes, man. That muted chop 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 your chop 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 chopsticks, man. But here again. That's me, you know? There we go, you know, you need a, a you need um, a very gated, quiet setup, you know? I like, uh, I don't know, I'm not gonna say anything, I don't wanna hurt anybody's feelings, but, um, I don't, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna quiet down my guitar to play, to be able to fucking tap, you know what I mean? Right there's pretty good. I want to put a wild pedal in here. Sometimes I don't want to bend too like that. that. It really, it's really a high bend, but I probably end up breaking a string and then I'm, I'm fucked with the rose guitar. So I, I did the higher note, right? With the with the play, with, all right, guys. Um, what was I? Yeah, cause the thing caught out, man. You gotta hit, you gotta be hip on this camera. Treacherous, treacherous, man. That camera is fucking treacherous, bro. Treacherous, treacherous. Anyway, so where we at? See, I don't want to. I, I, I don't put the air conditioner on because it makes a lot of noise. <laughs> you know, every time I uh, check my sound, I play this 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 pentatonic major riff. <laughs> So where we were we at the solo, right? So my little uh, augmentation here. favorite licks is that that right there that's where you could like that chop the hell out of that right go look right out and up
right here. signs get the grip on the solo though right <laughs> a little like a bite to it right it's like a walk pedal you know i don't like to i don't hmm, i don't like to have, play a lot of people play with a walk pedal for a lead assistance right Call button. Maybe call a button a heavy metal guitar, right? How's it going? <laughs> That's about it, man. You know. Oh, let's let's do uh let's do uh let's go into um what do you call that? Uh, forever man. Okay, let's get late, man. Forever man. A forever man, huh? So are we? Forever man. For for temporary, or forever man? Yeah. So check this out, man. The the premise of this video was also to uh, show you actual. Actual switching of sounds, actual switching of guitar sounds. So that was that metal sound, right? And here comes Forever Man, right? And, uh, uh, <sighs> let me see if I can play for you, man. They better illustrate, better illustrate this thing here. Because I'm forever a Saint right? What happened is that, um, right? Mm 
Which you, okay, so okay, what shall we play? Play it. Where is this thing you know? What the fuck is it? I gotta look for it. Hold on, man. Let me see. Um. something man vocals one okay so okay check this out I wanted to show I wanted to show um Different sounds, right? Going from fucking heavy metal to uh, to forever, man. It was this is part of the the when rock meets um, ro well, when metal meets rock series kind of a thing, like I did the other day with uh, Stairway into uh, play the funky music, white boy. So I wanted to do the same thing this one on this one here and um, show a little bit about the metal going into a uh, Clapton song. So. <laughs> Triple booster rather than the rat. More of a cleaner sound, right? I'm gonna change the uh, channels on the amp, but no, I think I left it. Fast forward. I like to trill that. Let's play it, man. Let's play it, and I'll, I'll sing it, man. I don't care, you know what I mean? Uh, I'll tell you what I did is some blues phrasing. Blues phrasings towards the end. It goes on like this, man. To my uh, vocal vocalization ideas, vocal ideas. Oh, uh -huh. 
in there but it's cool anyway that's it man that's it that's your uh when metal meets what do you call that metal meets uh pop right with a pop a pop hit man. okay man so we're gonna let you go now man because uh it is thank you very much for um it is taking a little t longer than usual but uh it's been a while since i came on so what else, man? What else, man? Still working on music. We're still working on music. We got a whole EP coming out, man. Okay, we're still working on that. Uh, a little complications with that a little bit, man, you know. Uh, but uh, we'll get back on it, man. Don't worry. As is, uh, it was written, it shall be done, man. And uh, hope you all come back for another... Uh, installment of the as the world turns man you know as the whole world turns here because we're always trying to do something special something you know like i said at the risk of embarrassment doesn't matter man you know i'm too old to give a shit so i'm gonna do you know things like this you know special live takes and stuff like that little changes here and there man you know you know if you don't like it man you know just don't go move on if you you know it's up to you, man. So, but I do appreciate those who come by and always leave a nice uh, comment and everything. I really appreciate that. And uh, this is all for you, okay? For you guys, man. So you could uh, um, hopefully, hopefully stick around and come back, man. And uh, while we're doing something.